On Monday, January 1, the Iranian warship Alborz entered the Red Sea. This was reported by Reuters with reference to the Iranian news agency Tasnim. The reasons for this decision were not reported, but it is noted that Iranian warships have been actively operating in the region since 2009, in particular, to ensure the security of sea lanes. London and Washington were previously reported to be preparing strikes against the Iran-backed Houthis in Yemen over their attacks on civilian shipping in the Red Sea. Washington and London are drawing up a plan for potential military strikes against the Houthis, initiated by Iran, which supports it. British Defence Secretary Grant Shapp said his country was ready to take direct action against the Houthis over their attacks on civilian vessels in the Red Sea. Shapps defined the situation in the Red Sea as a test for the international community. He warned that a failed defense of the Red Sea could prompt threats in other regions, such as the South China Sea and Crimea. According to The Telegraph, on January 1, the US and the UK may issue an unprecedented joint statement as a final verbal warning to the Houthis. The possibility of other countries joining this statement is also being discussed. Regarding possible military measures, the British media indicate the probability of airstrikes on Houthi targets. Minister Shapps, in a comment for the publication, noted the possible deployment to the region of the British Navy frigate HMS Lancaster in addition to the missile destroyer HMS Diamond, which is already in the Red Sea. Back in December 2023, the US announced the launch of Operation Prosperity Guardian in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden following Houthi attacks on commercial vessels. Great Britain, Bahrain, Canada, France, Italy, the Netherlands, Norway, Seychelles, and Spain joined the operation. Despite these measures, the Houthis continue their attacks, the latest of which was the day before against the ship of the Mesk Company. The US Navy repelled the attack destroying three Houthi boats and killing at least ten rebels. Mask has temporarily suspended its operations in the region due to the incident. Since the start of Israel's war against the Palestinian group Hamas on October 7, the Houthis have begun shelling Israeli territory and attacking ships in the Red Sea. They claim that this is related to the seizure of presumably Israeli vessels, although monitoring sources point to other countries of destination. According to the US, there have been 23 Houthi attacks on civilian vessels since October 19.